God our loving Father, Jesus our Savior, Holy Spirit our Comforter, we praise you, we thank you and we adore you at this time. Thank you, Lord, for inviting each one of us at this time to be with you, to experience and encounter your love. Dear loving children of God, let us be grateful to God at this time of worship and spending a couple of minutes in silence. Worship and adore the Lord with the totality of our life as Jesus taught us, love your God with all your heart, with all your mind and with all your strength and soul. Let us sit relaxed in the presence of God and just experience the love of God and His mercy on us and our families. Continue to worship in silence.
today's first reading which was from the prophet Ezekiel chapter 18 if the wicked turn away from their sins they shall live he has chosen to renounce all his previous sins he shall certainly live he shall not die dear loving children of god as we are in the season of lent first reading of today's holy mass teaches us we shall live we shall all live if we are ready to renounce our sins as we worship our god and master he knows each one of us through and through there is no need to explain our activities to jesus He knows me through and through. He knows what's going on in our minds, in our hearts. He knows all life situations of our life. So this is good and it's the right time to spend time with him, examine our own conscience. our own sins present or sinful tendencies or even that affections of our life which is disordered or uncontrollable towards this world just look into one's own self in the presence of god and if there is anything needed to amend or correct let us do this at this time in silence through the gospel passage of today Jesus taught us many things and among those teachings let us highlight two main aspects at this time first one that's about having virtues in life Jesus already mentioned in the gospels when the fruits 
are good, the tree is good. When its fruit is bad, then the tree is bad. Or in other words, we can conclude a person whether he is godly or worldly by examining the fruits of his life. So good to reflect in the presence of God what type of fruits that I have in my personal life. We know this, that Jesus glorified his Father on earth by completing all that God the Father entrusted to Jesus. And Jesus produced all the fruits of the Holy Spirit. When we look into the fruits of the Holy Spirit in the letters of Galatians, all those fruits of the Holy Spirit are clear and visible in the life of Jesus on earth. What about me today? In spite of all the burdens and rejections, in spite of all the atrocious activities that Jesus faced, still he could bear all those fruits of the Holy Spirit. What about me? Even though I have got a very good platform to stand on, everything is maybe close at hand for me, But sometime I'm a bit reluctant or I'm a bit, bit lazy to produce lasting and permanent fruits of the Holy Spirit. Let us reflect in the presence of God. What's my produce? Every day when I get up from my bed till I go to my bed, what I produce in my life? What are the fruits of the Holy Spirit in me? Good to know the fruits of our life. This is true that only a virtuous man can please God. Let us reflect on this aspect in the presence of God in silence. The second aspect of today's gospel, Jesus reminded us once again the importance of forgiveness.
and then he added if you are bringing your offering to the altar and there you remember that your brother has something against you leave your offering there before the altar go and be reconciled with your brother first and then come back and present your offering so D- jesus is teaching something beyond sacrifice jesus is teaching something beyond the holy eucharistic celebration jesus is teaching something beyond our understanding he always stood for love and he himself is full of love anything connected with hatred anger revenge or keeping those grudge for a long period of time all forms of unforgiving or unforgiving heart jesus reminds all of us to be caution on those aspect of our life being human having the flesh and the blood having the human nature within us it's very often or it's so natural for us to have all these emotions connected with anger or frustrations or even bit of irritations towards people whatever it may be it should not prolong any form of unforgiving nature not going to give us a proper or right resurrection in our life unforgiveness is always a block no flow of grace and we feel we are away from grace in the season of lent they are loving children of god if there is anything connected with hatred hatredness any of those elements connected with the negativities in life let us try let us try to examine those moments once again and try to forgive maybe for you this is difficult this is not easy because you are unjustly condemned or maybe you stood for truth and still you are humiliated you are rejected by many even though you stood for truth how this is possible to forgive all such people of god those who find it very difficult to forgive ask holy spirit spirit of god my helper help me to forgive one thing is sure and it is certain forgiveness brings blessings Forgiveness brings healings. Forgiveness brings 
or re-establish the relationship in our life. Let us meditate and pray in silence. Let us offer all our prayer petitions at the feet of Jesus. Remember those who requested our prayers today. All those who are undergoing operations tomorrow morning or even tonight. Those who are after taking rest after the operation and in a post-operation ward. All the people connected with the COVID-19 as we prayed this morning. All the cancer patients, remembering all the priests and religious sisters who are also undergoing a lot of treatments connected with the cancer. We offer all those who are sick and suffering from our families and from our communities, people with various sicknesses, admitted in the hospital, connected with the pneumonia, connected with the various other sicknesses. We remember people who visit at a Divine Retreat Center today, their holy intentions. All those who are worshipping God through Facebook and YouTube, you are holy intentions. The departed members of our families and our parents and siblings and all those who are closely connected in our life. Surrendering everything at the feet of Jesus, let us kneel down wherever we are, singing together, down in adoration falling. Yeah.
Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you want for us, the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Let us do the divine praises together. Blessed be God, blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be, the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Amen. Oh, mm -hmm.